forward to winter time. A lot of us seeing this recent rain, a lot of it, a sign we're asking, is it a sign of what's to come this winter, Natasha, whether we get lots and lots of rain or even ice, gasp. Uh, we're wondering if this has a connection to La Nina. Yes, so when we hear La Nina, sometimes we get excited thinking, oh right, this means we have a good chance of getting some snow. We're talking about snow in the mountains, epic skiing and snowboarding, but what about Portland snow? We experienced this, remember, last February, and remember, we were coming out of a La Nina winter. It's just this last winter. So here we go, round two, La Nina. 87% chance that's the development that we're seeing right now, way down there towards the equator, the eastern Pacific. We want to find out, is the water here neutral? So basically normal temperature, sea surface temperatures. Is it above normal, below normal? If it's below normal, now we're talking about La Nina conditions. So this is what we saw last year. Here we go again. What does this mean as we move ahead? Well, when we get colder water down there near the equator, that tends to push the jet stream to the north. And then what we get is this blocking high right here over the Pacific. What that often leads to is drier and warmer conditions for the desert southwest, California, for instance. And it often leads, leaves us in this space where we're wetter and cooler than normal. Okay, great. So does that mean we're going to be seeing a ton of rain? Well, taking a look at some of the most recent La Nina years, for instance, uh, we could see a range anywhere from as little as about 20 inches of rain during that winter time period to as much as 30 inches of rain or 33 inches of rain. You can see the range is pretty variable just in the last 10 years. Now let's look at snow, snow for Portland. Once again, you can see the variability is pretty great. We could go from as little as 1.8 inches, that has happened during La Nina, to as much as 11.2 inches, that was 2016 to 2017. We're breaking it all down. If you want to learn more, um, our morning meteorologist Kelly Barron really crunched the numbers to talk about some of the possibilities out there. Go to coin.com forward slash climate to learn all those details.